<clears throat> the views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. And now, kids and kidettes, it's time to get out your trapper keepers and your bookmarks. And, you know, while you're at it, get out your Matthew Marks and your Luke Marks and your John Marks. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, that would be your book Matthews and your book Lukes and your book Johns to go with your bookmarks. Because guess what? It's homework time once again, gang. Yay! <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention, please. Permanece said sentados, por favor. Every week, this podcast, The Pope on Film, assigns homework to its listeners in hopes of bettering people, nay, the globe. Yes. And this week's homework assignment is a very, very important and maddeningly annoying homework excitement. A homework assignment. The homework this week is the YouTube video Paw Patrol Water Table and Bath Paddling Pups. Yes. The name on the chalkboard YouTube video Paw Patrol Water Table Bath Paddling Pups by Creepy Smiled YouTube Personality with finger quotes. Conus 2002. And I picked this video for homework, but I did not find this video for homework. Maxwell found this video. Maxwell spends a small amount of his week casually wandering around kids' videos on YouTube. Usually he starts with Hobby Kids TV, which I have strongly rallied against on the show before. Yes. Uh, but for those of you guys just tuning in, Hobby Kids TV is a ridiculously popular YouTube channel where the white privilege family opens up toys and plays with them and spoils their rotten kids. My son loves Hobby Kids, and I can't freaking stand them. Uh, they have ruined a lot of things for my family, Hobby Kids have. I really want to take my kids to a Disney theme park one day, but I just know that once we go to a Disney theme park, Maxwell will not stop talking about the hobby kids. <laughs> That's Bear did this. Yeah. Hobby did that. Yeah. Like, we'll be so excited to go to a Disney theme park and Maxwell will be, I can't believe we're going to ride this ride. You know, I saw Hobby Pig ride this ride. It's like, oh, oh. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, no, I know you've seen Hobby Pig ride this. Oh. Like, it, 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 yeah, it, it, yeah, everywhere. It, yeah, it's going to ruin. It's going to ruin Disney. So thanks for that, guys. But here's the rub. Yes. The Hobby Kids are wildly successful with their unboxing videos. They make roughly about a million dollars a year just from YouTube. And that is because there is a huge market on YouTube for videos of grown-ups opening and playing with kids' toys. It, it, I found it disturbing. I found it very... That motherfucker has a dungeon. He's, yeah. I, he, he just does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that is a huge category of videos on YouTube. Uh, Grown-ups opening and playing with kids' toys. It, it's a huge category that, that literally any creepo with an annoying voice and a serial killer's frightening grin can play with toys and become a successful YouTuber. Case yeah. in point, Conus 2002. <laughs> This is a YouTube channel by a frighteningly hyperactive, and I want to and I want to be clear here: in no way closeted adult man baby. No. The style of video that hover, we can prove. <laughs> yeah. Whose <laughs> style of video hovers somewhere around the category of seven-year-old on cocaine? Yes. <clears throat> no adult would ever watch this guy's videos unless it unless unless. It was part of an active crime scene investigation. But for me, it was his eyes. Yeah, there's some. There's something about his. His just just his face. Dead, dead eyes. Yeah. And yet, and yet, I started seeing them in my fucking dreams. His yeah, eyes. 
He was a frightening man with a hideous voice and just an insane hyperactivity that just comes out as really creepy. This guy definitely has a windowless van. But he, he yeah, oh fuck yeah, he, yeah. But throughout the whole video, he didn't look like he was there. You know? Yeah. 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 Like he was doing the routine. But he himself was in some deep, dark place. Yeah, far, far away. But here's here's the kicker. Here's the and yet that really is insane about this. And yet, this shitty video that we watched for homework this week has almost a million freaking hits. Oh, my God. A million hits. And, so and what, we work way, way too hard. Yeah. On this show. <laughs> <clears throat> Meanwhile, this creepo with the window of van is getting a million freaking hits by cheap ass bath toys. So what I'm getting at, what I'm trying to say here, what I meant what I mean to say is bunny. Yes. Bunicula. Bunford and Sons. Me Bonita. We need to film ourselves playing with kids' toys. We do. There are a number of ways that we could possibly become millionaires. This path, this path seems to be the path of least resistance. Yes, yes. We need to film well, with freaking action figures. We do that. We put it on YouTube. Boom, we are millionaires. Well, we would have to find out how they're doing now. Because a few weeks back, there was what is called the YouTube apocalypse, where like nobody is monetized anymore. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Because some advertisers got pissy, so they were like, everything now has to be advertiser friendly. Come on. Like I'm just not built for advertiser friendly. <laughs> yeah. What are you saying, Matt's father? Supernatural is about to come on. Yes, Supernatural is about to come on. Yeah, and... You like pizza? Yes, I do like pizza. Do you like pizza? Uh, and making and... Yeah, I also like those things. Don't ask Bunny if he likes pizza, because pizza killed his mom, and so then he's been seeking revenge on pizza. I will kill every pizza in all of China. Did you hear that? It was a Chinese pizza. It was a Chinese pizza. I, I flashed back to Master of the Flying Guillotine. Oh, I I talked to Mr. Lobo yesterday. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, we can. My phone was freaking out, so I couldn't do it over the phone, which is how I kind of would have preferred to do it. You know. Yeah. Um. Uh, but I, I could do sexting too, so you know, no big deal. You know, I, I can type with one hand, um, and I'm proud of that actually. Uh, but I, I, I talked to him, and um, he's cool. He's cool. You know, so like, I, I just haven't gotten around like emotionally to putting up the Roku channel yet. <laughs> yeah. But it's all ready to go. It's it's been ready to go. I mean, yeah. like good enough for beta. Yeah. You know, there are other things that I would like to do with it. You know, but if we get it up and running just the way it is, oh, it's got to be seventy five percent better than any other free channel out there. Good. Uh, good baby steps. Yeah. Yeah, baby steps. So anyway. We need to start filming ourselves playing with toys and action figures. Yeah. Conus2002 did it, and he is successful, and he looks like he had to go door-to-door -door with John Turturro's character from The Big Lebowski. <laughs> yes. He looks like he either once shot a cat's eyes out with a BB gun for fun, mm -hmm. or... He still shoots cat's eyes out with a BB gun for fun. Yes. He 
I've got I've got more. He looks like he is a big fan of the Ramones. Not musically. It's just that like Joey Ramone, Conus 2002 looked like he has also done some dirty ass things in an alley for more drugs. Yes. Yes. He, can I can I try one? Yes. Can I try one? Absolutely. He looks like he has to inform all of his neighbors when he moves into his new apartment. Yeah. He looks like if you asked him point blank if he was a furry, he would instantly say no, but then dive headfirst into a very suspicious 18-minute conversation about how the My Little Ponies are so beautiful. (laughs) I actually have a few more. He looks like he comes from an alternate universe where, instead of skinning fat women, Buffalo Bill decided to just play with toys instead. Yes. Yes. Really, that one. He definitely has some things locked up in his basement. <laughs> he looks like he still writes letters to Santa and to sweeten the pot. He also sends nudes. <laughs> Tasteful, tasteful, artistic, new. artistic, yeah. high quality, like uh, glamour shots level. Yeah, news, you know, not your average dick pic to Santa. You know, that's yeah. that's just yeah. not right. He looks like he may or may not just reek of jizz. <laughs> Don't shake his hand. Is what I'm saying. He probably smells like my delivery driver, alternate universe Ron Jeremy. And this is why smell o vision will never, ever be a thing. Never. He looks like, without a doubt, a few of the toys that he has played with on his show, he's probably had up his ass. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs> Seriously, folks. If that sweaty weirdo can get millions of clicks. Yes. You know, Maxwell has a lot of toys in his room. Plus, he I, has. I, I hear numbers like that on that type of show, especially with him as the host. I, I got to wonder if it's some strange underground cult that we have not ever heard about. I don't know. But Maxwell has a crap ton of toys in his room. He's five. He has a hyperactive imagination. We open a new YouTube station. I start playing with him and his toys, edit it, release it. Boom. We are billionaires. Yes. Yes. Billionaires. Uh This is my new plan. This video is impossible to just sit through all the way when you're an adult. This man's voice is like... Like you're running a cheese grater over a chalkboard. Yeah. I, I, I And he had gone through the toys. And then there was like a pause in the video. So like I shook my mouse to find out how long it was. And I was only halfway through. And yeah. I almost started screaming. Yeah. And then he brought out another toy. And then I did scream. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. But anyway, that is it for this week's homework assignment. And I sincerely hope that your eyes, minds, and body cavities have all been suitably opened. Yes. But you're not getting away that easily. Don't forget next week's homework. And next week, we are talking about, and this goes well with this week's homework Disney theme parks Disney theme parks specifically we're going to be talking about Avatar when I say Avatar I mean the freaking blue guys yes okay because Disney uh, World is about to unleash Avatar Land oh is that such a wise move It reminds me of Universal Studios 
they had the Miami Vice stunt show spectacular a full decade after Miami Vice was canceled. And they said, yes, we finally, we just got to get rid of this Miami Vice stunt show spectacular. It's ridiculous that we still have this on. We need to update this to something cool, something the kids will like, something that's popular now and will continue being popular for years to come. I know. We're changing it to the Waterworld Stunt Show Spectacular. <laughs> sci-fi epic Waterworld will never go out of style. It's like, ooh, that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice. What did you replace that with? The Oogie Love Stunt Show Spectacular? Oh, that that literally hurt me. <laughs> this Jack and Jill Stunt Show Spectacular. Yeah, they had the Waterworld stunt show spectacular. It's like, oh look, uh, uh, that stunt man is pretending to be whoever that character is from that movie. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> so it's, it's weird that Disney is betting so much on Avatar Land. Basically, they're also working on Star Wars Land. And yeah, okay, Star Wars Land, I can see. I don't remember fucking scene one from Avatar, and I think I saw yeah. that. In three or four fucking times. I own that movie, and I couldn't tell you a fucking second of that movie. So so I, I actually found a lengthy article uh, in, of all places, Bloomberg Business Week magazine yes. and called uh, Disney's Intergalactic Theme Park Quest to Beat Harry Potter because Disney used to be the place to go to for theme parks and then universal studios slowly but surely started uh kicking their ass and now disney's desperate so it, yeah i've got an article it's on bloomberg.com disney's intergalactic theme park quest to beat harry potter i've got a link here that i will go ahead and send to you bunny i would that, appreciate yeah, that that is the article we're going to be reading to discuss next week, uh, we're going to be talking about Disney, and we're going to be talking about theme parks, and we're going to be talking about Avatar, Harry Potter, Universal Studios. Uh, I miss the fake shark that would jump out at you. Yeah, I used to go to Universal Studios a lot a long-ass time ago. I haven't been to a theme park, God, in fucking forever, but my theme parks were decidedly 80s. <laughs> The only cool thing at Universal Studios was a goddamn tram ride. Yeah. Fucking anything else there. But the tram when, ride. Was when a... Babs worked there. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that was my Universal Studios. So things have definitely changed, and we're going to be talking about that next week. So don't forget to do your homework. That's right. Yeah. So join us next week for what will surely be a hilarious and educational time. So hilarutational. We are going to be having a hilarutational time next week. So be sure and join us and be sure to do your homework. End scene. <laughs>